Alrighty, Snack Techers. Uh, today I want to show you the solar dashboard, the Snack Tech solar dashboard version two. So uh, this is the the board. Uh, the main change here is uh, we're adding a, a real time clock module. So this will allow this thing to actually keep some time. Before uh, there was kind of some trickery going on with the time. So for the version one kit, uh, I had used these uh, project boxes and I ordered some more because I sold out and what they sent me was this and it looks very similar and it's almost the same size but not quite it's a little bit taller and it has a different finish but the board uh, the this one is a little bit uh, longer so the board didn't quite fit in here so I had to make some changes um, made the board uh, shorter for better fit and I added these uh, screw holes so that it's still compatible with uh, the original enclosure you see that and uh, here's the, the larger box so it fits both, both boxes now so here's an example of a fully assembled kit I've been using this one for development okay this is the V2 fully assembled uh, so you can see do the same thing as the V1, except we got uh, the real-time clock module right here. Right now it's missing the battery. All right, I want to show you what comes with the kit here, okay? So initially what happened was uh, when I sold the uh, the kit to Adam Wells, he just got the he just got the board and he got the, the box. And, you know, it came with all the loose parts. You had to solder the resistors, everything. It's like... You know, if you wanted the fully assembled one, he could have just bought the fully assembled one. It would have been pre-programmed, would have worked out of the box. But he bought the kit. So then people are complaining, oh, it's so difficult uh, to solder these uh, little resistors. And it's so difficult to solder the SD card. And it's so difficult. Okay, so what I'm doing now is uh, I decided to uh, solder these parts on all the kits. So you'll get a board like this with uh, all the little resistors, all the capa capacitor and the um, SD card socket already soldered. So, you know, and then people complain with the software, oh, they don't want to use platform I.O., oh, you know, they want to use Arduino, and uh, so, okay, fine, so now these things are coming pre-flash, so, and, uh, you know, I decided to cut the holes, you know, for you guys, so, at this point, it's hardly even a kit, I'm even shipping them already, you know, pre-assembled, you know, I put this in here, because it's, uh, protects the, term, the pins, so they don't bend over. These things have to be soldered in. You get the battery, you get the real-time clock module, you get the RS-485 module, the Modbus interface. You get the red, green, orange LED, you get the battery, did I mention that? You get the little jumpers and you just have to add that. And it basically comes... Uh... All right, so this is a preview of the new software. It's uh, pretty similar to the old one. The main upgrade here is um, there's a settings page we're gonna have, um, you know, everyone has a slightly different, you know, system. So some people have uh, f uh, up to 100 watts, or like mine, up to 400 watts. So I wanted uh, people to be able to adjust it without having to load all, all the new software, because you know, it's sort of dif difficult to do. So see here, right now, right now the limits here are. Uh, uh, 30 volts on the battery, 70 volts on the uh, panels, and 70 watts. And then it's also reflected here. And if we go to the settings page, the uh, you can adjust uh, different uh, different voltages. I'll change them. And you can save it, and it saves it onto the uh, ESP uh, permanently. So when you load up the page every time you don't have to save it so uh, now you can see the numbers have been adjusted accordingly right. so um, in the settings you'll also be able to change the view of the uh, the chart to see the day the last day the last week or the last month and uh, possibly even further but for now that's uh, that's, that's, those are the settings. Okay, thank you for being a part of this project, and you can, uh, you can check the progress on the uh, forum, you can 
pick up a kit on the shop. You can download the source files yourself. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Look at that blue light. It's so bright. It's like a Michael Bay film.